um, these two other uh, characteristics in terms of entrepreneurship that I would like to mention here amongst the wolves, but uh, the phases that they're going through, uh, that is so applicable to entrepreneurship. Uh, whether you're being alone or then in a new pack, um, and then to understand behavior, for instance, when they're standing like this, not staring me into the eyes, it is a communication of acceptance. It is, it's okay to be here. Um, never challenge them to like stare into their eyes. Uh, so that's the phases that you've got to go through that's so important to realize for the entrepreneur. Every single thing that I've learned from the wolves is like applicable. It's like uh, exploring the, 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 the meaning behind it. For instance, uh, perceptions uh, can be so wrong. If you look at this Omega wolf playing the role of absorbing the negative energy in a pack, serving the pack like that, you can think that like he's a coward or you can think that he doesn't have a strong personality. And then in the next phase, you have this leader of the pack. Um, and for some reason, there's a lot of syn synchronicity with the development of an entrepreneur. You have to be in certain situations where you like almost serving, where you don't belong, um, where you look like definitely not like a leader taking initiative. But the unpredictability of wrong perceptions can lead then to uh, redefin redefining the role and identity. It's like the ability that I think a human being also has, but we can learn that from the wolves. Lovely species, thank you.